Look what Kevin Spacey has done. Now we have to question Jack Lemmon. I mean, this is just, I can't, I can't with this. So I'm going back, I'm recording this June 18th, 2024. You remember Kevin Spacey was just on Piers Morgan and he's over there. I have to give up one of my four houses, right? And I think Jack Lemmon gets brought up in that interview and Kevin Spacey um, was brought up or Kevin Spacey brought up Jack Lemmon, or Jack Lemmon brought, well, let's get into it. So I found this article, Jack Lemmon's son says, Kevin Spacey was like family to the late star, as Glenn Gary Gann Ross, we, actor, weeps in court. This is from July 17, 2023, article on Deadline. Um, During a series of 10 character references for the defense, Spacey became emotional as he reacted to the words from the likes of Chris Lemmon and House of Dead Poets Society star Robert Sean Leonard. Lemon, a stage actor who last year played his father in Blonde, said his dad saw Spacey as family and so became a brother to, like, a brother to me. Spacey and Jack Lemon appeared together in Glenn Gary Glenn Ross, David Mamet's 1992 adaptation of his play of the same name about a group of failing real estate agents who are told only the top two sellers will keep their jobs. I started to watch that and I just couldn't finish it. I don't... I don't know. Anyhow, so now Jack Lemon, it's like dad um, to Kevin Spacey. What is this about? I I don't know. So let's just do. Let's do. Wait, wait. Let's bring out. Do 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 the Major Arcana deck, my Hudsville Tarot. All right, I want to do a. Um, we're going to use um, Jen. Uh, Divine Pathways True Cartel. We're going to use her spread. I want to see what's the deal between this relationship that Jack Lemon, rest in peace, maybe, and uh, Spacey had. All right, root of the relationship is going to be our first card. Oh, Justice. My cards are upside down. All right, Justice. He brought him in balance. Hmm. What were the goals and objectives in this relationship? To turn him into a man. So this feels okay. This feels like Jack Lemon trying to be a dad to this Kevin Spacey. Hidden truth. He is uncontrollable and you cannot control him. He's going to do himself in. He just can't help it. He's self-destructive. Present mask of Kevin Spacey. Oh, that was a chapter behind me. I'm all done with it. Of course you are. Of course you are. Future for Kevin Spacey. Oh, not going to have much use for him soon. So, adios. Um, the overall enlightenment. You did a deal with the devil. Eyes wide shut. And you're going to get caught for it. Okay. So it looks like Jack Lemon was trying to be a dad to Kevin Spacey. That's interesting. But let's now I gotta know about Jack Lemon. Jack Lemon, were you an eyes wide shut gang? Were you doing despicable things to become famous in Hollywood, grumpy old man? I love Jack Lemon and Walter Matthau. I like Jack Lemon on his own. I love Walter Matthau on his own. But now, when I see that, I wonder. I wonder. Jack Lemon, were you and Eyes Wide Shut? I have to know. Allegedly for entertainment purposes only, not fact. Psyche down with snarky opinions. You see the disclaimer. Let's go. Mm. Son of a bitch! Allegedly, my opinion, yes, he was. He tried to fight them off as much as he could. But at some point, you don't escape joining the club. Ugh. This is, okay, so here he is, and it's like at some point, like his career is just not going where he wanted it to go, or it's not going as fast as he'd like it to go, or whatever, because he's just trying to make his career go. Got it. Um, so... 
he's trying to do some stuff. Some people in the Eyes Wide Shut group are giving him some help, uh, throwing him a couple bones. Here you go. Da, da, da. Yeah, remember who helped you out? Wink, wink. That kind of shit. Um, and then he starts growing and he's like, hey, thanks. You got me that, uh, you know, looking into, uh, you know, auditioning for whatever that was. Yeah, uh huh. And you got the part, didn't you? I did. It was great. Yeah, it wasn't because of your talent. <laughs> then he realizes what's going on. So he just chooses to make a deal with the devil, join the Eyes Wide Shut group, and he's in there. He mourns the loss of his soul because he sold it, sell out. Um, and but it was he was setting his goals because he wanted to get rich and famous. Terrible. Terrible. Okay. So then I guess it makes sense that Jack Lemon's going to be Kevin Spacey's dad in the Eyes Wide Shut group. Um, let's see how that comes to be. How does Kevin Spacey get uh, fake daddy Jack Lemon in his life? Like, is he assigned to him or what? Come on. Hmm. He's okay. So my opinion, allegedly Jack Lemon is assigned to him. It's like the, uh, you can pick between this terrible Hollywood actor we have to deal with, or you can work with this terrible Hollywood actor we have to deal with. Both of them have talent that we want to capitalize upon. And, uh, you're going to babysit one of them. You pick. Okay. So Jack Lemon picks Kevin Spacey. Kevin Spacey's out there doing shit and they're trying to cover it up. They see that he has this talent that they're going to be able to make lots of money off of him. And they're like, damn it. Somebody's got to go in there and be his dad. Go watch him. Keep an eye on him. You got to get him straighten up and fly right. Like it's almost this idea. He is young enough here. Maybe we can set him right. Okay. So that's the strategy. So Jack Lemon enters his life. He might be trying to be like, oh, let me talk to you about, I don't know, these acting classes I took on Sunset and or whatever, right? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. There's a sleeky way. He doesn't just come out and say, listen here, son, you're jacking your life up and we can't be having that shit. It's not that. He slides in there, maneuvers like a snake to get up into, and it's not too hard because it's Jack Lemon, right? And it's almost this idea like we're going to first we're going to talk shop, then eventually come over and have dinner with my family. And da, 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 da. OK, so doing all this shit together. He's trying to keep an eye on him. I wouldn't be surprised if at some point like Kevin Spacey like lived in their house for a period of time or it almost seemed like he was there living in their house. And um, so he's there and uh, he's trying to like get him to. Straighten up and fly, right? Don't be such a problem to the powers that be. That makes problems for me. Okay. I think he was trying to use, like, I'm not going to say common sense, but uh, trying to use, like, strategies, like, hey, if you want to do this, you do it this way. You don't do it that way. You don't do that. Okay, hopes. Hoping that we can become partners, so we can see eye to eye. Not partners like that, but uh, partners like, oh, maybe we are. I thought that was two of cups. I didn't see that that was the lover's card. Holy shit. Now I gotta look. Okay, so he's, he's in there to make him straighten up and fly right. But now I need to know. Kevin Spacey and Jack Lemon, partners, lovers, romancers, what the? Mm. I thought he was going to be his father figure, but this is turning into more of like a George Michael father figure. I want your sex. I want your sex. Oh my God. What the? This went to a totally different way. Ah. Shit. Islands in the stream. That is what we are. Oh my gosh. Didn't go well. I think they tried it and realized they were incompatible. I don't know how that works. I don't know. They're both tops, both bottoms. I don't know. Um,
Okay. I'm going to say they tried to be lovers. If you want to be my lover. It didn't go well. Like they're incompatible for some reason. They're just like, this ain't working. Let's cut it off. Cut it out. Okay. Um, they're done with it. But this is then, I guess, Jack Lemon comes into daddy role with him. Um, curious about this card here, though. Well, let's get cards on all of it because it is kind of interesting. I mean, it's some salacious gossip, but I'm here for it. Now that I've had to vote Jack Lemon out of my uh, mind of being a respectable human being. All right. Damn it. it yeah, it's almost like we're, we're going to a bar or we're drinking at home or we're doing something. Glug, glug, glug. Yeah, and like stuff's like flirty times are happening. Hey, bam, bam. <laughs> and then it's like we're hitting an iceberg immediately. The, the fire's there. Somebody's got a problem with their dingling. Don't work. That's our problem. We're hitting the iceberg. It's cold. We got a permanent problem here. It's like it just don't work. Mm, it's dead like a tree stump. Okay. I'm going to allege that Mr. Lemon had a problem in his pants. And uh, no matter how much he tried to take some type of thing to help raise the flag, there was a problem. Oh my God, trying to do hand jobs. Okay, God, this is getting gross. Okay, so just nothing's working. Can't get this thing to rise to the occasion. Um, yep, hit, a hit a wall. We can't do it. We can't do that. So there's like... It's almost like there was a deep desire both sides for this to happen, but it just couldn't happen. And so then it's like, well, then I guess we're just going to have to be stimulated with our uh, discussions and things like that. But it's not what they wanted. They did want to bump out. Okay. And so it's like, well, sayonara to that. We can't do that together. Let's just talk about thoughts and ideas and let me get you on the straight and narrow. My goodness. Hmm. <sighs> Would not have thought that of Mr. Him, allegedly, entertainment purposes only. My goodness. Oh my gosh. So, let's see if this article says anything else about, no, it doesn't say anything else about um, how Jack Lemmon changed his life. Kevin Spacey's tribute to Jack Lemmon at Museum of the Moving Image. Oh, this is from supportkevinspacey.com. 2,917 followers. Okay, no thanks. Okay. Kevin Spacey's tribute to Jack Lemmon at Museum of the Moving Image Gala. Oh, God. Okay, here, here we get to... There are so many people along my path who have been instrumental, but one in particular who we... Got to watch up on that screen tonight, and I haven't watched that scene with Jack Lemmon and Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross, in a very, very long time. And by the time we did that film, we'd had this kind of remarkable journey in which I had met him when I was in a workshop for young actors in a drama class when I was 13 years old. And after I did a scene from a play, that man who was an idol of mine walked over to me, this little 13-year-old, slightly shy kid who dreamed of being an actor, and he put his hand on my shoulder, and he said in Jack Lemmon voice, that was a touch of terrific. You should know you're a born actor. You should go to New York and you should study acting because you meant you were meant to do this for a living. You should do this, I'm telling you. Okay, well, thank you. This all just confirms everything else we were reading. And so I did. I came to the city and then 12 years later, I read the newspaper that Jack Lemmon was going to come to Broadway and do a production of Long Day's Journey. And tonight I was 25 and I was like, oh my God, I have to play the part of a son. And so I tried to get an audition and no one would give me an audition. I couldn't get an audition. These people are so dumb. At the time, I was under an understudy in a production on Broadway called Hurley Burley, which was a play that Mike Nichols directed. Why do they have to shout out everybody? I don't give two rips. 
Um, so he can't get this audition. I don't know. I'm just trying to see. There's 900 names being dropped everywhere. Um, oh, well, he's talking about, okay, so Jack Lemmon had this philosophy. He said that he passed on to Kevin Spacey. If you've done well in the business you wanted to do well in, it is your obligation to spend a good portion of your time sending the elevator back down. And that is why the logo for my foundation is a universal button you push to send the elevator up. So there isn't a day that goes by when I'm not enormously grateful for the people that believed in me and gave me a chance. And I know in my heart that if we all just keep, <laughs> chokes up, it says, a little bit of lemon claws in our hearts, we're going to be okay. Oh my gosh, I just want to vomit now. I just want to vomit now. Oh my God. Oh, okay. There we go. Damn it, it's another one off the list. Okay. Tell me what you think. I I can't. I'm just so... I'm. Ah. Mm. Anyway, until next time, join me in the Moon Moth Manor, and I'll see you then. Adios.